Next tonight, people living on the streets in Chester will now have their possessions removed and disposed of if they're left unattended. The council say anything left on the streets could pose a security risk. The city's homeless people, though, are now being encouraged to leave their belongings at a new hub. Hamilton House opened earlier this year. It provides shelter for anyone who needs it 24 hours a day. Sarah Rogers reports. Jamie has been sleeping rough for three months. Most of his possessions surround him, but if he leaves them behind in a doorway, they'll be removed under new rules from the council. I think it's a bit out of order, really. Like, um, you know, we leave our bags every day, and people know who's they are, what, yeah, you know, we've got no, we haven't got places where we can go to all the time. So obviously we don't want to be carrying our luggage everywhere. The move follows complaints from the public and police over rubbish on the streets and security threats. The concern is that random rucksacks left in doorways could pose a security risk to the public. But rough sleepers are being offered an alternative. They can leave their possessions at a homeless hub in the city. After multi-agency meetings, it was decided homeless hub Hamilton House would allocate this room for rough sleepers' possessions. Do you see removing people's things as a bit heartless? Uh, actually, I think it's the complete opposite to that. What we're trying to do is look out for residents, look out for safety, respond to the police's uh, uh, concerns, but more importantly, provide people with somewhere safe to store their belongings during the day when it's wet, when it's cold, we're in a situation at the moment where we are facing unprecedented levels of homelessness and rough sleeping. The North West is uh, you know, one of the worst uh, places affected by this in the whole country. It's also a way of getting people into places like the hub for extra support. We have a lot of customers that come in and utilise the service that might necessarily come in and uh, approach us for an assessment or support for that accommodation pathway. It gives us just another way of interacting with them. But Jamie, who will be sleeping out here tonight, says it's just another thing being taken away. It's your, it's your personal stuff, it's, 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 your, it's your life, your livelihood, it's everything you own, you know. It's what makes you feel yourself, you know what I mean? So obviously it's taken that away. The council says this is proactive and addresses a number of concerns, but worries remain the appearance of the city is taking priority over its most vulnerable people. Sarah Rogers, ITV News in Chester.